Hi everyone, welcome to Catholic Home Life. My name is Lindsay and this is my son Thomas. And today I'm going to be showing you a recipe for fish tacos. It's one of our family's favorite recipes that I like to make on Fridays throughout the whole year. Um, Catholics abstain from meat during Lent on Fridays and it is almost Lent. Wednesday is Ash Wednesday and it's also your birthday. That's right, you're turning one on Ash Wednesday. This recipe is really delicious. It's something that my family really loves, so I hope you enjoy it too. This video is a collaboration with a bunch of other Catholic YouTubers sharing their own favorite meatless recipes. So I hope you will go and check out the playlist down in the description box. I also wanted to say thank you to Kenzie from The Overnight Mom for thinking of this collaboration and inviting us all to do it with her. And now on to the recipe. The first thing to do is to make the sauce for the fish tacos. First you add in half a cup of Greek plain yogurt. And I like to measure things with a scale here because it just makes it easier and it doesn't have to be exact as you can see. I try to do it as close as possible to four ounces. And then you add in mayonnaise and that's also half a cup of mayonnaise which is four ounces. Next you're going to add a tablespoon of lime juice. One teaspoon of jalapeno pepper and I use these tamed jalapeno peppers. One teaspoon of minced capers. Half a teaspoon of dried oregano. Half a teaspoon of ground cumin. Half a teaspoon of dill weed. And the recipe calls for one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, but I just do a dash because I'm cooking it for my children and they don't like spicy food. Mix it all up. You can make this ahead of time in the day and just have it stored in your refrigerator so that when it comes to dinner time, it, it'll happen a lot faster. The next thing to do is to shred some cabbage. Here I'm using the mandolin, which I really, really like. It was kind of scary to use at first because the blade is so sharp, but it's just something that you get used to. Again, you can do this ahead of time and just have it in the refrigerator ready to go for dinner. Next you're going to make the batter for the fish. To do that you combine one cup of flour with two tablespoons of cornstarch. One teaspoon baking powder. Half a teaspoon of salt. And I like to whisk that together so it's combined. And then add one egg, and then the beer, which is the secret ingredient. It's not really a secret, it's on all recipes. <laughs> and I'll have the recipe linked down below. So that's one cup of beer. And then you just whisk it together, and it's okay if it's a little bit clumpy, but you want to make sure that all the powder is soaked up by the liquid. Now I'm heating up the oil in our fryer 
and the fryer just says to let the oil heat for 15 minutes so while the oil is heating I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the fish the fish I'm using tonight is tilapia and I just use my kitchen shears to cut it in half so that it's the right size for a taco Then you put the batter on both sides of the fish and put it in your fryer. I like to do two fish fillets at a time. If you do more than that, you could be decreasing the temperature of the oil and then it wouldn't cook as evenly. The fish take about two to three minutes to cook on each side. For years, I just used a regular pot on the stovetop and oil in the pot, and that worked really well for me for years, but then a couple years ago, I decided to go ahead and get a deep fryer. But you really can do this in any pot on the stove too. The one thing with that though is you have to really make sure that the temperature stays consistent because it could get really hot or it could cool down and it's just hard to keep that temperature consistent. So that's why I like using a deep fryer. And of course, if you have any big kids around, make sure you recruit them to help you. When I'm deep frying, I get these little bits of the batter that flake off and I just like to pull that out with my tongs every once in a while so they don't get burned in the oil. And here are all my helpers helping to set the table. There are the biggest helpers of all. To assemble the fish taco, you just take whatever tortilla you like and put the fish on the tortilla. Put the sauce on and a lot of cabbage. Fold it up and you are ready. Again, this is just a recipe that everyone in my family loves. So I hope you try it for yourself and I hope you enjoy. Let me know in the comments down below if you ever do fish tacos at your house. I'd also love to hear your favorite recipes to cook on Fridays during Lent or throughout the year. Also, make sure you go and check out the playlist down in the description box and check out all the other channels that are participating in this collaboration. And I hope you have a great day. I'll talk to you in my next video. God bless you. Bye.